So today we're doing Your Christmas or Mine, which is in Prime and was released in 2022. So it's also a very new movie. Hi DVDs, welcome to this day 7 of 20 days of Christmas. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Let's get into this review. I'm looking for the Hughes household. Up the hills. Can't miss it. I'm looking for Woodfield Road. Who the bloody hell are you? Is Hayley here? Hello, I'm late. Come in, girl. Let all the good heat out. What are you doing in my house? What are you doing in my house? I actually liked this one. It kind of played like the holiday or love actually. It was kind of more like love actually, I think, or wanted to be. It wasn't quite at that level, but they got close because honestly, I was I was expecting full on trash. It's Christmas movies, right? I was expecting that. And I saw the trailer for this, like I, the trailer popped up on my YouTube uh, dashboard and I didn't even click on it. I just skipped it. <laughs> like I didn't even watch it. Had I seen the trailer fully, I think I would have been more excited to see this movie because the movie turned out great i'm not even gonna lie it's it, it was actually a good find and it's going on my list my ever-growing list of movies that i will be watching every christmas we had some homegrown favorites in this uh like daniel mays who i can remember from i think it was the bank job i could be wrong but i've seen him in a couple things and he's always funny Angela Griffin, who I know from Midsummer Murders. She's been a regular on that show and I love Midsummer Murders. David Bradley, who is now officially typecast as the grumpy old man. He played the janitor in uh, Harry Potter. You probably remember him, the one with the cat. Yeah, Alex Jennings, who, who I haven't really seen him much or not anything that I can remember. But also Cara Kirk and Asa Butterfield. Um, Asa, I know he's very he's a he's a regular. We've seen him in Sex Education and there's Game. Um, he's been in a lot. There was that one where they went to space and he was born in this in space and came to Earth for love. I can't remember the name, but I've watched pretty much ninety percent of what this guy has been in. Cora, not so much. This was my first introduction to her. I loved it. I think she's a classic actress and I, I was very excited by everything she was bringing in this movie. I was entertained every single time she was on screen and I loved it. I loved her accent. It was so cute. I just absolutely adored it. So the story is basically you try, um, the classic try and surprise your spouse by going over to their house at Christmas but both of them had the same idea so they both ended up at each other's houses. Added bonus was that they had not been completely transparent about their life throughout their romance and so things started unfolding very dramatically throughout the course of I think it was only two days because it was uh, Boxing Day, uh, Christmas Day and I guess no, it was two days, literally, box of the Day. Their day. chemistry, the chemistry was really good, actually. But then it should be because they had already been in a previous relationship in the movie. So I wasn't mad at that. Asa has that face, that kind of baby doll face that no matter how old he is, he's always going to look like a baby. And sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't because it depends on what character he's playing. <laughs> I wasn't mad at it. I mean, I like him as an actor. I think he's a very good actor and I like the chemistry. So it worked for me in this one. They were a cute couple. Kiss Scale was a nine out of 10 and that plays right because if they were already in, a previous, in an existing relationship, it then follows that they should not be awkward when they kiss and that's exactly what it is. It was, they were very cute together, honestly, especially at the end when they made up and everything, they were really cute together and I really like their relationship. I almost want a sequel, kind of like where are they now, but not really, it, it doesn't need a sequel. I just want to know what happens to them. I want to see their kids, kind of like that. So it really did give me good feelings watching this movie and that's all you want. That's all I want. <laughs> I would watch this again very easily and I recommend that you watch it. It's very, it's a very nice movie and I thought that it played out really great. The story was solid, the acting was solid, um, originality was 50-50. I think I've seen the storyline before but this, there was, there were twists and turns to this one so that's, that's what kept me really engaged and kept me really watching till the end but I loved it overall. It's playing on Prime so be sure to check it out if you're interested. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!